Ah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He's going straight under that damn boat, man. Wonder if this is the new spot. Look at my mate. There you go. How you been? It's been a while. I know. I just saw I just saw Maddie on the on the news. Oh, it didn't make sense. Yeah, and I was like, I gotta come see the new spot. Uh -huh. Here we go. On another mission. Naughty Jade, naughty pleasures. Just down at the local spot again. I'm still doing some stock up on some bait. Um, I've got to keep stocking the bait in between doing the Hawkesbury missions. It's wiping me out every time I go up there. New coffee shop this morning. Actually, an old, an old acquaintance, old friend. I used to see that ain't another old coffee shop. I saw him on the news last night, and um, not for anything uh, felonious. <laughs> saw him on the news last night, and. Um, he had a new coffee shop. I was wondering where these guys went. So, cup and cook, make a very delicious coffee. If you ever want to try them out, they're down at uh, Connell's Point in uh, South Sydney. Delicious. All right, thanks, Maddie. Good coffee. Hopefully, I run into you on the next mission down there. Right, we're looking good again, Danny. A little bit of wind, but not crazy wind. I don't know which island I should go to. Should we go the left hand or the right one this morning? We'll wing it. See what it feels like once we get out. Oh, bloody mosquitoes all over me. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Even though the wind's coming head on, I think I might go to the right hand island this morning. Right. I've changed my mind. We're not gonna go to either of the islands this morning. I'm gonna cut across to the smooth side, right over the other side, and uh, fish a little different spot. I haven't fished here for a long time either. Somewhere in between that bit of raised bank and the tree over there. So we're pretty close. I'm just torn whether to fish this right hand one or the left hand bank here and fish the point. What to do, what to do. Beautiful drop offs all around here though. I wonder how soft the mud is here. It's pretty hard. This might actually be a really good spot. My fish is right inside here. Beautiful drop, very deep, straight off the bank here. Like I said, I've caught big tailor around this whole thing, big flatties around the whole thing. I should put a bit more time in over here on this side. I used to flick a lot of lures, but uh, yeah. All right, the boat's filling up with water quick. I better make a decision. Welcome, this is going to be a home for the morning. There is some crazy drops just off this point. So, we'll see if it produces anything today. Must not get busted off around the trees if we hook up. <laughs> right, let's get set up.
Ready? Down in it. I'm gonna go have another one. There we go. Ready. Very sneaky. Another little one. Send this guy back. You can do it. I waited too long. The bait is gone. What a fool. The smallest garfish. I'm gonna stick it on the tiny rod. We'll see, I guess. You never know. Super tiny live bait. Anything should be able to slurp that. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a flatty. No. What is it? Oh, we got it. Yeah, interesting for it. Very interesting. Good job. Pretty good trailer for a light. Oh, oh man, he's going nuts. I was just about to move spots too. It's not as big as the one the other day, but still, it's good fish. Off. He bit me off, my god. 
I had him. I'm only using like four pound here of like six, what is it? Eight pound trace. Ah, oh, spewing. That was on tiny live go. Alright, I know they say you shouldn't lose fish to catch fish, but we are supposed to be catching bait down here today, so <laughs> I'm not getting any bait over this side. We've got a flatty. We almost landed that tailor. Um, but I've got to get over to one of the islands, see if we can pick up some more garfish, because I want to I want to branch out, mate. I want to hit some different spots. So um, I'll just pack this gear up quick, bail a couple of buckets out of that, and then we're heading over to that island. We'll have the wind behind us, and um, there's always potential for more tailor, more flatties, more everything around the whole thing anyway, so I'm not too worried. We've had a little bit of fun. Let's go stock up. I can't believe this. I might have lost a crab down at a... Uh... Oh man, when did we lose the crab? I can't even think straight at the moment. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. What are the odds of that? <laughs> I was so lucky as wrapped around his leg. Yeah, so I lost a giant muddy down in, um... It's a male too, beautiful. Looks like we eat mud crab tonight. I can't even think straight. We're up at the Hawkesbury. <laughs> I just went to wind in the last of the rods to go over the island. Oh, oh. We've managed. Get away from me. Oh, look at that. Wow. Just when you think nothing's going to happen every morning. That's a big bloody crab. I need to get him in the bucket. Do not want to lose this guy. Yeah, I don't want to see. Not a bad uh, consolation prize for losing that tailor. That's probably close to the size of the one the other night up at the uh, Hawkesbury. Big ass claws. Oh, it's heavy too. Right. I'm going to put this in the bucket and uh, we've got to make our way over to that other island. I cannot believe that. What a beast. Watch him jump in the air. Oh, he's an animal. I don't want him on my toes, actually. I'm going to put him in the esky. I don't even know if he's going to fit in the esky. Go in there, you bastard. Oh, he's biting it. He's biting it. Let go, mate. Let go. What am I going to do? You won't let go. Very strong crab, this one. Look at the size of that shell, mate. Oh my god. Just won't let go of the esky. Let go, mate. Let go. I reckon this guy bucked a bit. He's angry. Angry boy. Get out of here. Bloody awesome. I think I'm going to eat mud crab for dinner tonight. Maybe share it with the missus. See how we go. She's lucky. We might do a little, little quick cook video with it too, you know. water in there before. Still angry. Oh, don't be shy now. You're doing all sorts of crazy stuff before.
probably, I don't know, maybe 50. Just taking that bait right down there. You see that hook is pretty far down. Nice flatty man, it's going to be a nice dinner. Flatty, mud crab. Oh yeah. Right, let's give this guy a quick measure. Uh, table fish right there. Beautiful. All right, that's us. Little crabbies waiting. Still angry. Um, we've only able to get like three garfish. It's pretty slow going, didn't it? But, um, we also got that nice flatty. Lost the bloody tailor, and um, I'm going to pack up all the gear. It's time to get out here. So. Surprise little session. You never know what's gonna pop up while you're flicking baits out. This is the next one. Uh, just got a little bit of water starting to boil. Now I'm just gonna dispatch the angry crab. He's um, quite lively at the moment, trust me. <laughs> Still very strong. I've got to get him out and I'll uh, dispatch him quick. We're going to give him a little clean and then we're going to be ready to cook, baby. We've got a couple of things going. Got some onions, shallots, garlic, chili, and butter. I'm going to go took the tongs and all. Jesus. Too long, I'm just gonna make a sauce, break up the shell a bit, toss it in the sauce. A little bit of something like that. Turn a bit of oil before we start. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> Let's get on down here in the house too. The family is cooking hot pot. All the selections. Good little cocktails, everything. Oh, steaming.